What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Rush back here with another video and today I'll be sharing with y'all my spoiler free review of Marvel Studios Eternals. Let's get it. Alright guys, so like I said, this is a spoiler free review so if you haven't seen the movie yet, this is perfect. I'm letting you know my general thoughts basically of what happened in the film and I really enjoyed Eternals, like for real, for real. So Eternals was announced two years ago in 2019 and I wasn't familiar with the characters. A lot of people weren't familiar with the characters of the Eternals. It was created by the legendary Marvel legend Jack Kirby. Um, he created them like in the 60s I believe and they're just different characters for sure. I like, there's there's 10 of them as you saw in the movie, Icarus. I'm not gonna name all of them, but the ones that stood out to me, Icarus, Ajax, Cersei, uh, Drig, all of them, Gilgamesh, Fastos, uh, Sprite, just, I, I enjoyed all the characters. There's also a non-eternal in the movie, played by Kit Harrington, known as Dane Whitman. In the comics, he ends up becoming Black Knight, and he's, he's cool in the film. He doesn't have too much screen time, but I mean, you'll see when you watch the movie where that character ends up going, so. Definitely stay tuned for that, but I mean, just everything about the story, it was cool to see some stuff and some historical events tied to the MCU, L learning about why the Eternals didn't interfere with all the stuff that happened in phases one, two, two, and two and three, basically, but I mean, it's nice. Y'all gotta watch it for sure. Like I said, I'm not too keen, don't know the most about the Eternals in terms of, you know, their comic book history, but I do know my favorite character in the movie was actually Cersei. Just seeing how she was re re able to relate to humans in the film and how she really fell in love with Earth, you know, being an eternal character and, you know, that's not human. She's not human, but I mean, she ended up um, just feeling the, all the emotions of being a human, just being on the planet. So, in my opinion, I really enjoyed Cersei and just all the characters. I thought Icarus's powers, I mean, it was very reminiscent to Superman. So, that was cool. And I just liked all of them. I mean, the film was funny. It had some of those, those classic MCU moments we know. And it was just different for sure in terms of the cinematography. The, the film was beautiful. I mean, y'all seen the trailers, all the things, all the pictures, images, um, TV spots, and all those things. The, the film was amazing in my opinion just in terms of how it looked and how it was just displayed and laid out. It was also cool seeing the Celestials being in their huge stature. I mean in previous MCU films they were mentioned by name and stuff like that. I think we saw like a little glimpse of the Celestials in past films but I mean to see the Celestials and just how they were it was cool to see that and also seeing the Deviants they were like kind of the antagonists of the film in some different ways among other things but uh, there are some ugly looking mother freakers like they were, they were cool antagonists in terms of just fighting the Eternals and stuff like that how they were tie with the Eternals but I mean it just looked like some ugly animal creatures but I mean it was cool to see that and just seeing all the the artistic elements to this film it was just truly beautiful and magnificent magnificent in my opinion this is a spoiler free review so I can't get into anything that goes on you know that I mean y'all know that I mean I'm gonna have my spoiler review soon but man it's really good and y'all already know it's a Marvel movie so there's two post credit scenes and they're definitely they're definitely mean a lot in terms of what they mean for the future of MCU but also just learning more about the history of the Eternals and more cosmic stuff in MCU because I I'm not too keen on all the cosmic things in the MCU I mean I know a lot of stuff in the past past like five to ten years I learned a lot about the MCU I love everything about Marvel content but I mean there's a lot there's so many characters in Marvel history and Marvel lore so there's just some things that I don't know but those post credit scenes, you gotta stay tuned for that for sure. I mean, it, it means a lot and it teases a lot to come. Personally, I didn't know originally what to expect from the film, but now that I watched it, I was glad I watched it. And I'm, it's, it's a great addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I really enjoyed it. Just just showing the background of the MCU history, I really think it's a great addition to the movie. I know some critics have been pooping on the movie. I don't know why though. People have given it like a 59% on Rotten Tomatoes. It makes no sense to me. In my opinion, just go watch the movie and you'll enjoy it or not like it for yourself. I mean, it's really good in my opinion because a lot of people are just having mixed reviews, but I mean, I guess either you're going to like it or you're not going to like it, but some people have thought that maybe it was going to be boring, but it's definitely the opposite of boring. There's a lot of stuff going on in the film, so I think you'll, regardless, I mean, you'll be able to be captivated in different areas and different ways of the movie of Eternals. My rating for the movie would probably be a seven and a half out of 10. It definitely wasn't the most perfect movie, but it definitely wasn't the worst. In my opinion, it's probably like a middle of pack MCU film. I'd say like around 12, 13, 14 range, I would rank it in terms of all 26 MCU films so far. So like I said, I really like the Eternals. And if you haven't watched it and you've been thinking about, oh, maybe I should watch it, maybe not watch it, definitely go watch it. Cause it means just a lot in terms of knowing where the Marvel Cinematic Universe came from and how it's going and you know, how things have changed going in the middle of just how things are going into phase four potentially that's pretty much it for my review though let me know in the comments down below if you've seen it already if you're planning to see it and if you're excited to see the returns like i said it's a beautiful movie with beautiful beautiful cinematography so if you are watching this and thinking about watching it go see the film because it's definitely worth it in my opinion 
I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at SwaggyRust. Stay tuned for more Marvel videos. Stay tuned for my next spoiler review of Eternal. So if you see the movie and you're ready to talk about all the Easter eggs and things like that that happen, be ready to watch that for sure because I'm going to have my spoiler review posted this weekend. Thank y'all for watching. And also, I got a little, little video for y'all at my outro because the next Marvel movie that comes out is Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Y'all be blessed. Thank y'all.